Hi, choir. I hope you enjoyed your time off since our last virtual choir video on March 7th, which was He Will Hold Me Fast. Our anthem for this Sunday, March 28th, which is Palm Sunday, is Thy Will Be Done. Remember, our Palm Sunday services celebrate Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem at the beginning of the service, and then we begin to transition into Holy Week as the service progresses. This is why we offer Thy Will Be Done as the offertory for this Sunday. This is a powerful anthem that, believe it or not, is close to 40 years old but it still sounds fresh to me, and it still hits you right in the gut. It's, it's a great one. Okay, now for some musical notes. <clears throat> form. This anthem is in simple song form, three verses and three choruses with a coda or ending. The composer, Craig Courtney, is very creative in using variation to keep the piece interesting and dramatically compelling. Verse 1 is full choir in unison, and then parts in the chorus. Verse 2, women sing ooh. Now it says mm there, but we sing ooh, while men sing the verse. And then everyone sings chorus and parts. Then verse 3 is full choir in unison in three octaves on fortissimo. And then the chorus are sung in parts. And then finally there's a coda, which is the ending of the piece, um, and it's a somber repetition of the main idea of the anthem, Thy Will Be Done. <clears throat> there are no repeats in this anthem, so keep turning the pages and sing the piece straight through. But please remember to turn pages quietly and out of view. All right, breathing and phrasing. Most of the time, we approach uh, breathing and phrasing as indicated in the music. Only breathe where there are rests. But let's look at verse 1 and the first chorus as the breathing and phrasing pattern are similar uh, to the rest of the piece. <clears throat> so, verse 1, you sing to the very end of each phrase and be aware that you have only an eighth rest to breathe before the next phrase. And make sure that uh, that breath is an elegant breath. So let's look at that. Look right here. So we see, Our cup was filled with darkness. Three, four, breathe. Our cup was filled with death. Breathe. Christ took our cup and drank it. Okay, that's all in one breath. Now here's a long one right here and gave us life, and gave us hope, gave us himself. So that's all straightforward, and I, and I gave you that arrow uh, right here as a, um, as a reminder uh, that that's a long phrase, okay? And a quick note here. Um, this is from the last time we did it. There's that arrow. I guess some people had hard time with that that E flat right there on himself. So uh, make a special note to sing that E flat. Okay. So that's uh, uh, that's the verse. Okay. And I indicate those same notes uh, generally speaking in the other verses. Let's look at the chorus. Now for the chorus, you sing to the end of each phrase. Okay. But note. Men will sing, no, men will breathe in the middle of verse 16 after the word me. So let's look right here. This is pretty straightforward. My father let this cup pass from me. And then the men echo, my father let this cup pass from me. But note here, as I just mentioned, that I've inserted a breath for the men there. That's so you can uh, sing the rest of the phrase and crescendo a bit with the women right here. So men, make sure to breathe right here. I indicated that in the other places and other choruses in the song as well. And then, of course, we come to this section. You take a breath, and then you sing this straight, straight, straight through. See that arrow? Yet not my will, O oh Lord, not, yet not my will. And then breathe, right? Uh, and then sing, O oh Lord, on, you know, a whole note. And then let uh, but thine but thine be done so again make sure to observe this breath here sing these two measures 
and then breathe right there. Okay? And that's clearly indicated the music. And again, I indicate that in the other choruses later on in the song. Okay, let me look at my notes here. Um, all right, let's... Um, later on, the chorus, instead of the men echoing the women, the chorus lines up, and then the men won't have that special breath. Look at here. This is the third chorus. You can see there's no longer an echo, but the men are singing in perfect time with the women. And so there's no need for that special breath for the, that I mentioned. Now, this will all make sense. You just follow the music, all right? So let me see. Measures 18 and 19. All right, I already mentioned that. Special notes. Um, page 7, measure... 51. Uh, breathe at the end of measure 51 because the phrase is very high. Look right here. Uh, uh, poured out his life. Breathe. Uh, put him to death. Breathe. To rise again. So uh, I'm giving you a special breath right there because that kind of goes high and we just need, need that breath to maintain the energy in this tricky phrase. Okay, so make sure you breathe after the word life right here. Uh, right there, so kind of cross those notes up. I should have probably done that in the music. Sorry, just breathe there. Okay, um, follow, follow the section leaders. At measures 54 and 55 on page 7, I'd like you to draw your attention to the long note. It's eight beats. Look right here. To rise again. Um, we have a whole note right here, and then it continues down to this. So we have eight beats. And, you know, I, so we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, off. So make sure to sustain that piece, uh, th that, those eight beats to the end. Push yourselves if you have to, because you have a full measure to recover. You see that? He's giving you a full measure to recover, so push yourselves. Okay, tempo. The tempo is generally consistent throughout with some natural variations as the piece grows in intensity. So there's no big tempo changes or anything. And I would like to draw your attention, I have crossed out a retard at measure 64 and page eight, right here. See that? I crossed it out. Um, Karen will play that chord, and then will immediately go down to those that descending pattern. The, the sopranos will. So sopranos follow the section leader closely on that. You may have to listen to it a couple times to make sure to follow that, and I'll direct it. Okay? Dynamics. This piece grows in dynamic level as the story progresses. Verse 1 is piano, verse 2 is mezzo forte, and verse 3 is fortissimo. Make sure to sing these dynamic levels. If you already have a powerful voice, sing as you normally would as the dynamics increase. If you tend to sing quietly, I'd like to challenge you to sing with more intensity as the piece calls for it. As they say in theater, make it larger than life. We want, as much as possible, our vocal timbres to be similar so we have a good blend. You know, if we have people singing quietly and some people singing powerfully, it's hard to get that blend. So make a conscious effort to sing fortissimo when it calls for it. Okay? Text. I have to draw your attention to two two-word combinations because they are a little tricky. Both combinations are in the chorus. And here they are. Cup, pass, and from me. Now, the strategy is to align these words together. In the demo recording, this is the way the choir sings these two-word combinations. We'll sing, it like, we'll sing it like this. Cup, pass, from me. So if you'd, if you'd say it in normal speech, my father let this cup pass from me. You see, I didn't go, cup, a pass, from me. We don't want to make it sound Italian. If you over-articulate the words, You'll sound like you're pretending to be Italian. My father let this cup pass from me. 
Let this cup pass from me. So it'll be, my father, let this cup pass from me. Let this cup pass from me. So we don't want to over-articulate. Again, listen to the demo recording. Um, so we want thy will to be done, not the Italian accent to be done. Now, you're allowed to laugh at that if you like. Okay, video. It's been two weeks since you all submitted videos. I hope you remember how to make your videos and submit them. Remember to review, you, to review the video recording instruction sheet or give me a call and I'll be happy to help you review. And reminder about good framing. Make sure your head is near the top of the screen, like this, and that I can see parts of your shoulders, like this. If your framing is off, it could be because you are not setting up your frame according to your final singing position. So you need to set up your frame according to your uh, final singing position. This is what I mean. It may be that some people get their hand camera ready and they go like this. Oh, there we go. There it is. Then they lean back in their chair and they get their music. And then this is what I get. What you need to do is get in your final singing position and then set your camera accordingly. And now I'm, now I'm good to go. Does that make sense? So some of you may not have thought about that. You may have been setting up your camera when you're close to it, and then you sit back in your chair to begin to sing, and the framing is off. So think about that and see if you can make that adjustment. That's it. I look forward to assembling your videos together, as I always do, for the performance of this powerful anthem. And let's remember to keep our church and the worldwide church in prayer as we approach Palm Sunday, Holy Week and Easter. We're, we're bound to get a lot of visitors and we're bound to get a lot of people who haven't been to church in a while to come back. So let's be ready to, to minister to them and to, and to welcome them. Bye-bye. filled with darkness, our cup was filled with death. I stood our cup and drank it, and gave us life, and gave us hope. Then they took us in.
two, three, four, one, two, off.